Chinese village puts up a notice banning conversion to Christianity. A new set of rules imposed on a village in China's Yunnan province seek to prohibit conversion to Christianity. A notice posted in Huangfei village, Yingjiang County, warns that anyone who chooses to follow the Christian faith, which it calls an evil cult, can expect to face significant financial penalties. Human rights organization Christian Solidarity Worldwide, CSW, which has seen a copy of the notice, says that it threatens to punish anyone who is caught believing in Jesus Christ and other sects by imposing on them a considerable fine, which may include the confiscation of livestock. One source told CSW, this is not only the case in this village, but also in many other Dai villages in the surrounding area, including Ruili, although some rules are written down and some others are not written down. In addition to the developments in Huangfei, CSW reports that the Li community in Hainan province has also introduced village rules that permit villagers to isolate and target Christian individuals and families, including with financial penalties. While these two incidents appear unrelated, CSW notes that there is some concern that this recent spike in targeting Christians in ethnic minority villages in both provinces may indicate a form of unified arrangement on behalf of our provincial authorities. CSW's founder, Marvin Thomas, said any prohibition Against conversion is a violation of the right of freedom of religion or belief as set out in Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which specifically protects the right to change one's religion or belief. We call on the international community to take note of this new trend of violation in China and to raise these and other human rights violations with the Chinese government in bilateral and multilateral dialogues. We we'll also urge the Chinese government to protect the right of all people in China to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion in accordance with Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Still in China, a Chinese Christian bookstore owner was sentenced to seven years in prison. Cheng Yu from the city of Taizhou, Zhengjiang province, was charged with illegal business operation on 27 September and handed the lengthy prison term along with £22,700 as fine. International Christian Council ICC reports that in addition to the fine and prison sentence, Chen will also have his iPhone confiscated and the 12,864 Christian books from his shop will be destroyed by the Linhai City Public Security Bureau. Chen was originally detained after being investigated for selling unapproved religious publications imported from Taiwan, the US, and other countries. China Aid says that the government authorities used the investigation as a wider opportunity to root out the so-called illegal religious activities among local communities. Speaking about the crackdown on Christian materials, a house church pastor from Shenzhen City told persecution watchdog Bitter Winter that people who buy Christian books are practicing believers. So the government looks into them to determine how dangerous they are to the sustainability of their regime. The pastor added that he has personally been summoned for purchasing from a Christian bookstore. The Communist Party has done too many shameful deeds and continues to suppress people. Our government has a guilty conscience, he added. In response to the latest judgment, ICC's regional manager for Southeast Asia, Gina Go, said the sentence to Mr. Chen Yu shows how the Chinese government is increasingly frightened by all things religious. From religious symbols, Chinese couplets, to Christian books, anything that features religious element is no longer tolerated by the Chinese Communist Party.
The disproportionate sentencing of Christians such as Ali Rain, Convenant Church Pastor Wang Yi and Shane Yu under the same charge implies that the crackdown against Christianity will only intensify. The US government and international community should continue to stand up the tyranny in Beijing. When it comes to China, it's not just the religious material that the Chinese government is worried about. Authorities have planted surveillance tracking devices in religious minorities' homes. Chinese Communist Party authorities are planting surveillance devices in the homes of religious minorities to monitor and track those they suspect of threatening the country's authoritarian rule. In recent years, numerous reports have emerged in which members of the Church of the Almighty God, CAG, a religious minority group, recount being targeted for investigation and surveillance by China's Communist Party. The monotheistic new religious movement is on China's list of Shao, Jair, or cults that are seen as a threat to the state security. Religious Liberty magazine Bitter Winter reports that after being released from prison in 2018, a CAG member from the eastern province of Xinjiang noticed two men installing a new camera by the entrance of her house. This was the fourth one installed there. The woman's mother, also suspected of being a CAG member, found a listening device installed behind a washing machine at her home. A few days later, she discovered a micro camera in the garage. When the mother was taken in for interrogation, police officers played a recording of her saying that she was being monitored at home. In 2018, police arrested a CAG member and interrogated him for 36 hours, requesting information about his wife, son, and sister who were out of town on church matters. Though under constant surveillance, the father managed to warn his family members not to return home. Police officers continued to visit his home, demanding to know the whereabouts of his family. Additionally, he is required to keep his cell phone on 24 hours a day, while a tracking device was installed on his scooter and high-definition camera at the only entrance of his residential community.